In this video, we're going to talk about the tools you need to be able to draft and cut your trousers or your jumpsuits, or in this case, a culotte. So, first of all, you need a long ruler, okay? So, you can see my long metal ruler. Then you need a shorter one as well for just, you know, connecting short distances with your chalk. And since we're doing freehand, you will need a chalk or a pencil, something you can mark, you can use a mark on fabric. You also need your French curve, uh, specifically for drawing the crotch curve. You also need your fashion fabric because we are using freehand method, so you're going to be drafting directly on fabric. You need your measuring tape, you need matching color of thread, you need scissors, you need pins, um, these are the basic pins you need. You also need a zipper, okay, in this case, I will be using an invisible zipper, which is not shown here, but there's a zipper there just to let you know you need one. And you also need um, a bias tape or bias binding, which I use to finish the facing inside the simple pair of trousers I'll be making. Hello everyone, today we're going to learn how to cut the cloths. So let's get started. The first thing you need, obviously, is your measurements. So these are the measurements I'm using. Waist, 25 inches. Hip, 38 inches. Then the waist to hip, 9 inches. And then the crotch depth 10 and a half inches next thing you want to do you want to write you want to do this table write the waist and write your hip so when you write your waist you're going to write the waist measurement when you write your hip you're going to write the hip measurement okay what you have for waist measurements and what you have for hip measurements you're going to write it here then what you have for waist measurement you're going to divide it by two and write it here so I'm going to take my tape the waist measurement is 25 I'm going to divide it by two. How? By taking one end of the tape and putting it beneath the 25. Okay, just put it beneath the 25. So I took one end of the tape, the other, the one end of the tape, the, the beginning of the tape. Take the beginning, the beginning of the tape, put it beneath the 25 and press. Okay? And press then you release you find out that there is a fold that fold is your waist divided by two so my fold here is 12.5 or 12 and a half and right 12 and a half do the same for your hip so I'm going to look for 38 put the beginning of your tip beneath 38 put the beginning of your tip beneath 38 squeeze it and 19 You're going to do the same thing um, for waist divided by four. Take the tape. Put 
the beginning of the tape. We need 25. And then it will give you 12 and a half. Take the beginning of the tape beneath that 12 and a half, okay, into that fold created when you first divided in half. So take the beginning of the tape beneath that fold that was created, okay? You take the, the tape, the beginning of the tape beneath the fold and squeeze again. And it will give me six and the water. You do the same thing for hip. So I already know that the hip half is 19. I'll just divide 19 into two. That's nine and a half. These are the measurements we will be using, okay? So the next thing you want to do is you want to find your crotch extension, okay? You want to find out what will be the uh, crotch extension for this style of trouser we're sewing. The front. The front crotch extension will be this divided into two. So when you have gotten your hip divided by four, whatever you have here, divide it into two. So that's nine and a half over two. I'll just use the same method though. I don't need a calculator, I'll just divide nine and a half. And I'll put the beginning of the tape behind nine and a half. So I'll just divide that into two. And what I have is four and three quarter. So four and three quarter. So you can actually use uh, between this between four and a half to four and three quarter. You can remove a quarter if you want for a tighter fit around the crotch section for your culotte. You can remove a quarter if you want. Okay, for just a slightly tighter fit. Okay, a slightly more snug fit. You know, for your culotte, you can remove a quarter. Okay. But if you want it to be, you don't you don't mind it being loose. You use four. You use whatever you have as your hip divided by four. You use that value divided by two. Okay. But if you want a slightly just slightly fitted uh, culotte, just slightly fitted, you use, you remove a quarter from whatever you get here. Now for the back crotch extension, for the back crotch extension. You can use whatever you get here and you add one and a half if you want a loose culotte or you add only one inch if you want a very fitted culotte. Okay? So it depends on the fit you want because culottes are supposed to be loose in the first place. But if you want a slightly you know, fitted culotte, then you add one inch for the back. But if you want a loose one, you add one and a half inches. So the the for the back extension for the back crotch extension you're going to be adding between one to one and a half inches anywhere in between that you can add between one to one and a half inches anywhere in between that so let's start cutting our culottes 